Hello, it's Carrie Bradford, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize any PNG file to suit your own personal coloring needs. So in this example, I am using the black PNG file from the Black and White Christmas, and I have up one of my favorite designs. I just love the, the handwritten reindeer names. And while I love it in the whole black and white concept, it's really fun, I'm going to try and make this a little bit Christmassy. So the first thing that we want to do is we're going to create our little journaling card, a little pocket card for like your December daily or your project life, something that you can put into a three by four pocket. So I'm going to come up here to file and new, and we're going to choose a new blank file. And I have mine set to three by four, so I have three inches wide and four inches tall. And then I'm just going to say, okay. And I want my background to be red. And so I'm going to just go ahead and click on the red. And I'm just going to say, okay, my, my foreground was that red color that I wanted already. And then I'm going to grab my paint bucket tool and make sure your opacity, that's set to 100%, because when you try to fill this background, if it's set to an opacity, it's going to set it at a shade of what it is that you really want. So make sure your opacity is set to 100, and then I just go ahead and fill in that background. Now let's go ahead, and I have my file open here and I can just click and drag it up into that area. And as you can tell, it's really, really big already, so I'm just gonna press Control or Command minus to get back out, to, to zoom out. And then that way I can grab my handles and I can just size it how I need to so that it fits and just click the little check mark for OK. And then I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back in, pressing Control or Command plus. And, you know, the red and black, that's cute. That's, you know, kind of that uh, Christmassy-ish type of thing. But I want my letters to be white. I'm going to start out by showing you how to do it with white. So what we can do now is you want to make sure that you have that particular layer selected. We're going to come up here to Edit and then choose Fill Layer. And what this is going to do is this is going to change the color of the layer of the text but you need to make sure that preserve transparency is checked. If you don't, it's going to fill the entire layer with the color that you're choosing. If you have the preserve transparency checked, then it's only going to modify the contents of the layer versus the entire layer itself. It's going to preserve that openness. This, the, you know, the PNGs don't have a background. It's, it's transparent. So it's going to preserve that transparency by what that particular thing checked right there. Okay, so the contents. So we want to modify our contents of this layer. We're going to come to color, and there's a couple few different options. If we had a foreground color in the color that we needed, we could choose foreground color and it would just automatically know to choose that color. We can also choose black, gray, or white. So for the first example, I'm just going to go ahead and choose white and then say, okay. And you can see it changes all of those letters to white. Now we can come over here to our opacity. And this is something that I like to do in Photoshop is I will click on the opacity and drag it and you can see the number changes as well as the, the coloring in here. So you can click on the word and, and drag it and it will change the, the, the value of the opacity that way. Or you can go ahead and choose the down arrow key and change the value of the opacity that way. And I like it to where it's kind of that pinkish hue. It kind of gives it kind of a retro color scheme there. And I really like that. But say you want to do a different color. Not that I would necessarily want to do green, but if I even just wanted to choose a pink color, I could do this. But I'm just going to go ahead and turn that opacity back up to white. Come up to edit. And then choose my fill layer. And we're going to come in here. Oops. We're going to come in here and choose a specific color. So just for the sake of doing this in red and green, and it might look a little obnoxious. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm just going to kind of move the slider around and maybe pick a color in here somewhere. Maybe a lighter shade. Well, let's go with that. And just say OK and OK again. And there you have it. It's changed it just to green. And so there's a couple different ways that you can do that. It's really super, super simple. You can modify this to your own color scheme. You can do it with just about any, you know, plain PNG file that's like that. And just have a lot of fun with it. All right. Thanks for stopping by.